Hey, everyone, today, we're diving into a topic that affects almost everyone on their fitness journey, the myths and facts of fitness. Whether you're just getting started or you've been working out for years, you've probably heard things like lifting weights makes you bulky or more cardio means more weight loss. But how much of that is actually true? Myth 1 Lifting weights makes you bulky. Let's kick things off with one of the biggest myths out there. Lifting weights makes you bulky. Now, this myth has discouraged many people, especially women, from incorporating weights into their routine. But the truth? It's actually really hard to get bulky just from lifting weights. Building a bulky physique requires specific, intense training programs and a high-calorie diet, plus a natural inclination for building muscle, which most people don't have. Fact check, lifting weights increases lean muscle mass, which actually helps you look toned and burns more calories even when you're at rest. So, ladies, pick up those weights. Resistance training is fantastic for overall health and won't turn you into a bodybuilder overnight. Myth 2 Cardio is the best way to lose weight. Next up is a common one. Cardio is the best way to lose weight. Cardio is great for burning calories and improving heart health. But here's the truth. Focusing only on cardio can lead to muscle loss and lower your metabolism in the long run. Fact. While cardio helps with immediate calorie burn, Combining cardio with weight training is far more effective for weight loss and long-term fat burning. Studies have shown that strength training builds muscle, which in turn keeps your metabolism high. So, if your goal is sustainable weight loss, include both in your routine, doing both cardio and strength training will help you lose fat, build muscle, and keep the weight off longer. Myth 3, you need to work out every day for results. Here's another one we hear all the time. To get results, you need to work out every single day. Sounds intense, right? The truth is, recovery is just as important as the workout itself. Overworking your body can actually lead to fatigue, burnout, or even injuries that will set you back. Fact, muscles grow and repair during rest. Most people can see great results with 3 to 5 days of focused workouts per week, as long as they're consistent. Aim to give your muscles 48 hours to recover before hitting the same muscle group again. So, don't feel bad for taking those rest days. They're essential for your progress. Myth 4, you can spot reduce fat. All right. Here's one that I'm sure we've all hoped was true at some point. You can target specific areas to lose fat. I mean, who wouldn't want to just focus on the belly or thighs, right? But unfortunately, that's not how fat loss works. Spot reduction, the idea of losing fat from a specific area by working it out, is a total myth. Fact, when you lose fat, it comes off from all over your body, based on your body's genetics and natural tendencies. So while of exercises can strengthen your core and build muscle in that area, they won't specifically melt belly fat. A balanced workout and healthy diet are key to reducing overall body fat. Myth 5, protein shakes are essential for building muscle. Another popular myth, you need protein shakes to build muscle. Let's break this one down. Protein is definitely important for muscle growth and repair, but the idea that you must have protein shakes isn't quite right. Fact, if you're getting enough protein through your meals, think chicken, fish, beans, and dairy, you don't need shakes. Protein shakes are convenient and can help you reach your daily protein goal, especially after a workout, but they're not essential. Focus on whole foods first, and use shakes as a supplement if needed. Myth 6. The more you sweat, the better your workout. Ever finish a workout without sweating and wonder if you even worked out at all? There's a myth that the more you sweat, the better your workout. But is that really true? Sweat is actually your body's way of cooling down, not necessarily a sign of calorie burn or workout effectiveness. Fact. Some people sweat more due to genetics, the environment, or the type of workout.so. Don't judge your workout based on sweat alone. Focus on form, effort, and consistency instead. Myth 7 Crunches are the best way to get abs. Last but not least, the classic. Crunches are the best way to get abs. A crunches target the abdominal muscles, sure, but they won't actually reveal a six pack unless your body fat percentage is low enough. Fact To build abs, you need a combination of core strength exercises like planks and compound movements that engage the entire body, like squats and deadlifts. And don't forget, diet plays a huge role in revealing those muscles. So, for visible abs, focus on your whole body and nutrition, not just crunches. So there you have it, folks, some of the biggest fitness myths debunked. Remember, the fitness industry is full of advice, and while some of it is sound, some of it just isn't backed by science. Thanks for watching, and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more myth-busting fitness content. Until next time, keep moving, stay informed, and remember, fitness is a journey. Make sure you're guided by the facts, not the fads. See you soon!